Not so Freudian here. Welcome back to Let's Play The Binding of Isaac Afterbirth Plus Dailies. We are Kane today. Uh, Zodiac. Let's wait and see. Okay, okay. First off, it's not Basement XL. Crap, I'm crutch. I was gonna say, let's wait and see how much health we have at the end of the floor, basically. And or whether I just use a bomb to avoid getting hit. I hate how they can shoot you from out of your sight. I don't like poker chip basically at all. No reason to go to the shop. Yeah, I hadn't seen this room in forever and now all of a sudden it's showing up all the time. Alright, I'm just going to go back and grab Zodiac, I think. Because I can just get back to full health right there. Welcome whoever just joined it on Twitch. Stop just losing your heads and die. Has every single one lost its head and therefore just taken twice as many shots to kill? see any stats change but it looks like we got Scorpio I don't remember if Zodiac just gives you one item equivalent or two items equivalent but <sighs> okay I can buy a half price item there's no good place for a secret room yeah, I can buy a half price item and or a soul heart. Or a key if there aren't any soul hearts. Let's see what's in here first. Half price card. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to get the 15 cents either way. So basically I just buy the key so I can get to the item room immediately next floor. And call that a swing and a miss. Okay, there's a tinted rock. Thought I didn't waste a bunch of bombs looking for secret rooms. I don't like this room because you ha basically have to get in front of him and get charged at for the first half of the fight rather than um, being able to sit underneath him and just kill the pooters as he makes them. stat change again. I have Scorpio again. Does it not change because I didn't start the last floor with it? Or did I just roll the same, uh, you know, D13 or... I actually have no idea how many Zodiac items there are. Er... I think in Persona there's like 20... I think Aeon is number 20, and that's the highest. Maybe there's a 21, I don't remember. But there are also aren't items for all of the Zodiac. Or wait, no. I'm thinking of the wrong thing, sorry. Okay. Yeah, I'm thinking Tarot, not Zodiac. Tarot has 20, Zodiac is 12 or 13. See any tinted rocks? <sighs> Made that dodge. That 
could be the secret room, but I'm gonna check and see if there's other options. So I might be able to get into that trap room after fighting the boss. Okay. No reason to go to the shop. That is the super secret room. And hearts aren't all that useful. Okay, yes, the secret room probably is t straight to the left. Oh, jeez, the haunt. This is not one of the annoying champion haunts. But yeah, hopefully there's an item I can trade for that's pretty good in the um, boss room. I mean, I'll trade for it even if it's halfway decent. Just because of the, um... That was really weird. He just went forever without firing and I got super nervous. He's also been poisoned forever. It's like he doesn't gain the, you know, mercy immunity. The way bosses normally do. Yeah, no reason not to take this now. Oh my gosh, that's great. Unfortunately, Plan C is useless. Take this because it's... I don't have an active item, and it's actually free. Because I was going to lose the two hearts anyway. Or, yeah. I actually said what I meant there. Okay, power pills are relevant. Hmm. I'm kind of surprised it took me up to 13 tiers. Like, that's a much larger penalty than I thought you would usually get. Okay, that's unfortunate. Alright, super troll bombs. Uh, bad, but I was able to keep it away from me. Far enough, it didn't wind up mattering. Uh, the one soul heart it is probably worth doing this room for, especially if I get anything afterward. <sighs> Unfortunately, that is good enough that I'm just gonna have to leave the paperclip behind. I mean, I obviously don't have to. But it's good enough that I will leave the paperclip behind. What was the item on that floor? I don't even remember. Oh, the virus. Right, let's see if I get a devil room before I... Dang it, I forgot to look and see. Okay, I don't have Leo. Yeah, I forgot to watch the stats and see if... Um... Any of them changed for the... Zodiac. I don't know if it can give you any Zodiac item, or if it's restricted. It's like, I don't know if it can't give you Capricorn, but I'm pretty certain even if you get Capricorn for a floor, you don't get the uh, health up from it. Alright, so that looks like the secret room. And that's a sticky nickel. Might be worth using a bomb on. Alright, both of those just created enemies. Yeah, we'll see if there's anything in the shop I want. That could also be a special room, so I may as well do that. Ooh, now I need another bomb. Okay. Alright, that worked out alright. not overly helpful right now. Right, let's just maul them. Grab the penny. I'm gonna avoid that because it's not very good. I actually have no idea what stats that increased because Vibrant Bulb. Yeah, I should have just dropped Vibrant Bulb. Oh, I have Cancer. 
against the... Oh, I'm now only taking half hour when I get hit. Effect. Yeah, like, I didn't get the three soul hearts from that. Uh, I don't want the broken modem. So I am going to give this a few cents and look for a bomb. There we go. I'll buy that, too. Okay, awesome. Take Steve in 100%. 1.37. Plus 1.37 is really good damage-wise. 1.37 is like, you know, just straight up soy milk. I would take soy milk now because I have piercing shots. Because really the most annoying part of soy milk is... Uh, I'm this far up, I'm just gonna... Yeah. Yeah, but the most annoying part of the uh, soy milk is that your shots push the enemy out of the way of all your other shots. So your massive tier stat doesn't help as much because you're hitting with so many fewer tiers than you, the stat would seem to tell you it should. If that makes any sort of sense. Oh, it's not hard mode, so the champion is going to drop a... 48 hour energy is actually useful. <sighs> Alright, that was actually unfortunate. So I wasn't thinking, and I should have gotten rid of the, uh, or I should have blown him up so I would have a better chance of getting a double room. I was completely lucky that I managed to dodge those. Dang it. Okay, avoid that. Okay, so that took my damage and tears up by a significant amount. Alright, it appears to have taken my base tears from 13 to 9. Yeah, wow. Uh, let's just give this a little bit of health. I'm not gonna, like, go back and, you know, dig up a bunch of hearts, but I just figured I would do those two for a little bit of, you know, more money. Yeah, I should have blown up that beggar, though. Alright, let's see what's in here. Three re-rolls all the consumables on the floor throughout the entire floor. I'm going to save that chest because it'll actually re-roll the chest itself. Oh, I think the that voiding that increased my range as well. Okay, well that was worth it. Okay, I must have killed the boil with the virus as well. Because that worked. Yeah. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez, it's the stupid champion I hate so much. Die, 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 die. Die, 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 die. Holy crap. I can't believe I survived that. Uh, I don't have any active items avoided that'll be helpful. Dang it. Okay, I don't have... the... Um, I don't have cancer anymore. Which would usually be a good thing. Oh, I mean, there's a 
lot of hearts there that are going to get rerolled later. Uh, I just don't like that. I don't want to void it or else it's going to, you know, do the same crap when I void it as it does when I'm just using it active, which I don't like. But it still takes three shots to kill these guys. Oh wait, my damage is 5.96? What? What did I get that lowered my damage so much? Like, is there a zodiac sign that lowers your damage by a crap load? Because just Death's Touch and St Steven should have raised my damage by a whole lot more than that. Alright, I have enough to just straight up buy an item at the shop. I don't want either of those, though. Gonna do that. Blur. Uh, okay. Buy the trinket box. It does not let me carry two. Dang it. I thought it let me carry two, which kind of threw me out. Or, which is why I bought it, is what I was trying to say. Or wait, no. It wouldn't even after I avoided it, because that's a um, passive benefit, and you don't get the passive benefits from things you've done. Maybe I'll get a better drink it at some point, somehow. Yeah, why was I at 10 damage last floor? I mean, none of the Zodiac items double your damage. I don't have, like, bloody lust or anything. Alright, torn photo's great. No reason not to take it. That's weird. It raised my range and... Oh! Okay, I, I'm an idiot and I completely blanked on that. But I have, uh... Dude! Oh my gosh. Yeah, I do have an item that, you know. Oh, hey, F. Sarita. Hope I didn't miss your message by too long. But yeah, I have Libra, which is why my range suddenly, like, quadrupled and my damage went down by a crap load. Alright, so let's open that, take that. Andras is good to know about. And grab all this gave me more money. We rolled that into that. I didn't leave anything in there. There were a couple of hearts in here that became chests. And a pill, which is paralysis. Thankfully, it was not actually bad. This became a card, which... Oh, it re-rolled all those hearts in the super secret room. Awesome. I gotta go a okay, that's relevant. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and turn all those into pennies. Oh wow, I'm going slow. Well that was stupid. Okay, then I'll re-rolled into I'm just gonna take this actually. I was gonna say I'm going to go and re-roll the items in there, but I guess that three room re-rolled the item too, because I'm pretty certain the black candle wasn't on offer beforehand. That kind of makes sense, because the... Oh yeah, my damage is 15. Yeah. And I have Aquarius. Okay. But yeah, the, uh... But yeah, it tells you how good the run is that I didn't even notice uh... 
Libra was cutting my damage by like half until two thirds of the way through the floor. room doesn't reroll pedestal or like it doesn't reroll the shop items until like you bought them set them back down and it's become an actual pedestal so a three looks like it might actually reroll the unbought items along with you know all the consumables in the shop so that can't be the secret room either is it just above the trap room maybe I have 17 bombs, so I'll check. Okay. Yeah, because I do really want a devil room. I just didn't test it from the left. Blow these dudes up. Because I have more bombs than I know what to do with. And no money with six lock. That's strange. I'm sure. I didn't want to re-roll the BFFs. I'm an idiot. Well, I have enough bombs, I may as well open that chest, I guess. Okay, that was kind of useless. Ooh, relic. Alright, that means I'm never gonna die. because the next floor is probably going to be, um, oh wait, crap, take that. Yeah, next floor is probably going to wind up being, uh, one of the greeds, because I haven't fought either of them yet. Monstro 2 can eat it. I think my keeping me blocked that or ball of bandages, whichever. That's probably gonna get voided. And there's Dark Bum. Alright, so there's basically zero way I ever die. That got me tears and shot speed. I don't need the vibrant bowl upgrades right this instant. So I'll just go to the next floor. Okay, I'll take a lock upgrade. Oh yeah, one of the luck is from the Vibra Bulb. Okay, Hemodemesis is great. I found pills is irrelevant. 
48 hour energy is good, locked out is not, neither is pheromones really. So just keep 48 hour energy. Kill him. I don't know what zodiac sign I have. But I'll spend one key to get two keys and two pennies. And I've got enough money to buy an item. If the room isn't greed. Or if the shop isn't greed. May as well keep that just in case. Okay, so that can't be the secret room. Let's see if the secret room can be to the left. That was fast. Okay. There goes Vibram Bulb. I was hoping to save a key. Okay, that just gives me random stuff, right? I took it instead of voiding it because I'm pretty sure it can give me, like, runes and good stuff, not just, you know. Maybe it just gives me trinkets more often, or, like, Mystery Sack doesn't give trinkets, but it gives the other stuff. And this can give me trinkets? I don't remember what the difference is. Maybe I should have avoided it. Okay, I can definitely go to the trap room. Let's head into here. Alright, so going in was free. Especially since I got that from Dark Bomb. That worked out. Dang, damn it. Take that. Take that. Because I can get a... Um, hopefully I have a double in one of the next two floors. That I can trade the hard way in. Don't really need that. Like, there's only a couple of trinkets good enough to make me drop Vibram Bulb. All the extra health isn't going to help, because I don't need to sacrifice. So we're already going all the way. I'm drowsy. Might be better. Probably not. I'll just take it in case I fight greed. No greed. I don't remember if I've blown up keepers yet. I had not blown up keepers yet. But I have something else that's increasing my chance of getting a dove room, which is strange. Okay. Yeah, those were like the two places it could possibly be. Dag nabbit. Whatever. I'll trade a bomb for two keys. Why didn't I avoid that? I'm just going to be crawling in more consumables I probably can't use. Why did I take little chest and mystery sack, is what I'm trying to say. So they both basically do the same thing. But I don't really need anything they give me, except maybe, like... I might take curved horn. But the fact that I get tears and luck and damage from the vibrant bulb. Although I guess it would be better, like later on, to have curved horn. Because, like, especially since we're going to the chest, I might be voiding items extremely often. All the trinkets today. Take that, take that, let him take that. Okay, I have Gemini this floor. I don't even know what I had last floor, now that I'm thinking about it. Okay. That looks like a super secret room. It was not. 
lots of hearts around in case I get hit. I was not expecting this to be a dead end. I may have gotten damage because I think... Oh wait, no. I already had 15-something. I was about to say, oh, I think I had, you know, 15 then. Or... Leo? Okay. Avoid that. I think I got speed. I'm not sure what else. Like, I'm, I'm pretty sure I got speed because I only lost, like... Yeah, little chest is just giving me trinkets, it looks like. Uh, I'll be charged by the boss fight. So I can use that battery if I wind up using the thing on or after the boss. Alright, so check this. Decent chance, yep. Save that in case I get hit, I guess. There's so many soul and hearts lying around already, it probably won't matter. Grab those. How was I hurting Skolex? Like, does he have the reverse of the invincibility so many of the enemies have at the beginning of the fight? Like, you know how little haunts and ghosts and a bunch of McCollums. I guess the Lapras things have the same. freaking lock. Another trinket? Holy cow. Is this like super trinket day or something? Try. Okay, I do still have 48 hour energy. And then there's that. In case I find something to avoid. Looks like the seeker room at the left. Do that, blow him up for Dover and Chance. Add a couple of points, apparently. Alright, I can definitely go there. Alright, I have enough keys. I don't want to take that at all. I'm gonna go ahead and void it. Ooh, okay. Cracked crown? Or vibrant bulb? I'm gonna... Oh, cool. I'm gonna charge this up. And then decide. Higher fans. Higher fans okay? But... I'm already gaining so many hearts. Okay. 
so let's see. I can pick this up. Okay, so I don't get luck. But everything else is better, I think. Screw it. Open that. Take that. That lets me open chests for free now. That would have been more worth it earlier. Or wait, no. The gold chests I opened were in that room already, so it wouldn't have done a single thing. Ace of diamonds. No thanks. Empress might be okay, but... I want this in case I need to start voiding things quickly. You get under tier cap, I guess that's a no-brainer. Yeah, basically. It's also a better damage up, so my DPS went up a significant amount. Oh cool, somebody gave me two keys. And it's not uh, dependent on whether I have uh, a full charge ready for the... Um, most likely places for a super secret room can't be. So, next most likely is to the right of here. Maybe I'll get the small rock. I did not, but I can open this for free. Which is some more points. Okay, so that can't be the super secret room. Whatever is above this might be. Okay, yeah. This could be. It is. Wand over and teleport. Okay. I've already got Cricket's head. So, dag nab it. Thankfully I'm fighting him here and not as a boss when I don't want or need his item. Okay, nothing there. 
there. So I would void the quarter without a second thought. I'm not going to go blowing up, you know, dozens of pots looking for it. But it would be great if it just randomly happened like that. Okay. Kralos' power pill. Keep that. Get lots of stuff. Alright. No tinted rocks. Definitely go to the curse room. Ah. Not worth it. The crow's heart, I believe, makes it so you take damage from... Or, like, you take red heart damage before taking soul heart damage. So it's, like, opposite of normal. Which... I don't... I mean, it's rarely going to be good. Unless you really want to take... Like, if you want to avoid getting a devil room because you've already teleported to it, I guess. Or on the first floor when you've taken a soul heart and you want to make sure it survives for the next floor and then you drop it. Okay. I remember having trouble with that room a couple days ago just because of how long it took to kill the gurglings. Let's just kill them. I started firing a dark bomb for some reason. I actually have more keys than bombs. Oh, that's... Not going to be useful exactly. But it might turn a bunch of the stuff that I can't actually, like, pick up into stuff that I can pick up. I was hoping one of those would get a demon heart from either the virus or Athame, since that's what killed them both. for a bit, so let's get them killed. That was quick, too. I love being able to shoot through the, like, body blockers. Ah, looking for lockups. Okay, yeah, let's fight the boss. Alright, well... Polar give me invincibility for a minute. So get in there, get some d extra damage done with Athame. Now empty vessels give me some invincibility. Let's get in with the virus and the ball of bandages. And now just to be a bit of a time waster because I'm you know, already too slow for boss rush and hush, obviously. Let's go ahead and reroll everything. And I didn't realize that was a mimic. I did not want that health up. Okay, that stayed a red heart, which is weird. That's now half a red heart. These became Penny and a thing. Card is kind of useless. There's that. Two chests and a watch battery. That's a troll bomb. Cracked Crown is definitely better than Watch Battery. I found pills, bad gas, 48 hour energy. Alright, now I get to tiptoe around and hope I don't pick up a heart on accident. Otherwise, it'll ruin the Polaroid. And now the two. The two payouts he's given me since I re-rolled were both spiders. That's not helpful, Dark Bum. Alright. Oh, Serpent's Kiss is good. So is Proptosis. Okay, Mom's Knife and Hemolacria are both just going to ruin everything here, basically. So do that. Get speed, shot speed, and plus seven damage. Holy crap. I still don't know, remember what Golden Horseshoe does. I think I looked it up. Oh, okay. 
tech point five is great for um, just extra damage, I guess. Don't want that, so I'm going to avoid it. I'm gonna avoid that too. Just need two more rooms to get a charge, so I don't waste a bunch using the 14 hour energy. I haven't seen a luck up yet. Okay, void that, I get range. Void that, I get luck. Okay. Yeah, I'll kill the boss and then go back for the um, rest of the floor. I didn't mean to grab the battery, but whatever. Now for exploration points. I may have Leo, because I think I stopped that, because I'm pretty sure uh, the ball of bandages doesn't actually destroy poop, poop that it touches. Unless the red poop counts as an enemy or something and therefore works differently. Okay, just kill Super Greed. The eyeball tears sound weird. Alright, so they just bounce around everywhere weird. Hopefully it doesn't um, decrease my DPS by much. Oh, he wasn't dead. I thought the health bar disappeared. Alrighty then. That was kind of cool. Void that for shot speed. I have two shot speed. And 50 damage. Holy crap. Serpent's Kiss must have gotten that kill. Oh, well, where's that? Okay, yeah, so that must be a multiplier. It's a multiplier that works with other multipliers because I have Cricket's head already. Yeah, screw Kidney Stone. And another 4 damage. Nice. I thought that was going to hit me. Point two eight shot speed. Interesting. Yeah, I must be stompy because I just hit three of those without taking damage. Yep, head on down. 461st is not bad at all for missing boss rush and hush. But hey, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe if you would. I'll see you guys tomorrow.